Hey there, welcome to the next in our crypto mining series, or crypto series. This is actually a mining one though, so that is applicable. So, uh, we've covered Hashflare, World Mining, AWS, and today we're going to talk about Crypto Mining Farm. Uh, crypto Mining Farm is probably one of my preferred ones, although... I don't have much invested in here and there's a reason why and I'll get to that as I go through it but we're gonna look at their site today we're gonna to talk about the basics we're gonna talk about uh, pros and cons we're gonna we're just gonna look around and see what there is to see so first thing that comes to mind to mention is that you can get 50 giga hash on a lifetime account for free just for signing up so regardless of what else you feel about this site uh, if you want to put money into it if you don't want to put money into it um, you can give 50 giga hash you too can be web mining or cloud mining uh, for no investment now I believe you do have to make a deposit in order to withdraw your bitcoins but the deposits are like 20 bucks and a lifetime because that's what I participate in and this is one of the few mining services it still offers lifetime contracts they also offer extremely long-term contracts and extremely short-term contact contracts so you get a no maintenance fees <clears throat> no difficulty increases investment bonus um, they do virtual mining basically which uh, I'm not honestly a hundred percent clear on but they've been around since 2014 come highly recommended from a lot of different people on the internet and I know that counts for about as much as a cup of coffee so you know anyway they're in Thailand and their contracts run three months six months one year three year five year or lifetime I think there's a 15 year in there as well once you get into it um, we're gonna look at the profit calculator so let's open that up So if you invest up to one terahash with today's Bitcoin price of 73.61, which I believe it's actually higher as I'm making this slightly, I don't know, don't have it in front of me. And it's been fluctuating pretty wildly all day today. If you uh, have a three month contract price is 0 0.008 Bitcoins. If you uh, your six month contract is 0 0.12, one year is 016 three year and they do have a 15 year it's 0 0.26 is it 0.026 and <clears throat> let's say today Bitcoin price your daily profit 1200 227 satoshis for one terahash and if uh, Bitcoin tanks you're still making money not a lot, but you're still making money. So that's the profitability calculator, which is a little difficult to understand, and I'm not going to go over it because it's actually slightly irrelevant. It's just an estimate, and most of those are inaccurate anyway. But let's take a look at my dashboard and see how you can view what you've got going on. So here's our dashboard, and I've got 90 giga hash total hash power, which means I took the 50, and I'm going to continue to drop 20 giga hash every week or two to keep this up. But here's my balance, and it is going up. Now. I am going to go to the buy tab so you can see that and here's your contract lengths and it is three six one five three 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 months six months one year or three year or five year or lifetime now I've been going to the lifetime the lifetime is a little more expensive but uh, 20 giga hash is about point zero zero two four four five bitcoins I think that's about 18 to 20 dollars which isn't horrible 
for 20 giga hash for the rest for a lifetime. Uh, I know a lot of places have terminated their lifetime contracts, but these guys still offer them. So that's awesome. Uh, even a five year contract. But as you can see, the payment type, the payment amount does go down as you change term. But you get more hash rate. So on a three month, if you pay in this much, which honestly isn't a lot, you get a Terra hash and you're going to earn about 90 cents USDT a day. However, six months, stays the same. Buying in at three years gets you a five terahash contract, which pays out about 450 USDT a day. Five years, same thing. Same price, 450 a day. Lifetime, 20 giga hash. Lifetime is considerably less hash power than a five year. However, it's a longer term. So take that as it comes. You do make less, you make about just shy of two cents USDT a day. But that's two cents USDT a day with no end date. So you could do some damage continuing this and increasing it and increasing it and increasing it and increasing it. And then when you get a balance, you could actually reinvest, snag a terra hash, make some money. And in three months that it expire. My plan would be to continue buying lifetimes Although the return is going to be less in the forefront, more in the back end. So the longer you retain it, the more return on investment you'll get. However, at $20, I'm looking at 2,000 days to recoup my investment. So that may or may not appeal to you. So like I said, you can jump on one of these three-month contracts to... Uh, shore up some of your short-term investment and then get some lifetimes to have a long-term continuous investment so they have withdraw page profiles and there are some fees involved and the fees actually have something to do with your level and the level is how much you've purchased so minimum withdrawal Bitcoin which is what we're interested in is 0 0.005 Bitcoin and at my level which is basic or standard you have a 0 0.00005 Bitcoin fee so you'd get you'd get uh, 0 0.0045 Bitcoin out of that. If you get up to VIP, which basically means you've invested a considerable sum, your fee drops a good bit. So that is a benefit. Now let's look at the member types and then I'll explain it more. Free trial. That would be your 50 giga hash pickup when you, uh, when you start. Uh, they know your customer information. You're not required to provide it until you get up to VIP. In order to get up to VIP, you have to have 100 tera hash of hashing power. Not horrible, honestly. It's pretty easy to get up there. Uh, withdraw balance. You cannot withdraw balance in your free trial, so you do have to buy something to withdraw your balance. Not bad. I mean, you still keep the 50 gig, 50 gig of hash they gave you. Honestly, I've got more in the free than I do in my paid. Um, you can reset your 2FA. You do get the referral bonus. You cannot change your email, so be aware of that. And a referral bonus is a 15% flat across the board. 
reinvesting in virtual giga hash per second. So they have v hash power, which is virtual giga hash. I, I don't even know how to explain that yet, but honestly, you've got to be a VIP to get there. So I can think most people would have some time to wait. Uh, support response decreases as you get higher. And if you get 500 Terra hash, you get VIP with support and you're, you get an answer in less than 24 hours. So there are some things you have to do to uh, become a standard member. You have to buy 20 giga hash in a lifetime contract or one Terra hash in a three month, three month contract or a six month or one year or a three year or a five or five year. That's a typo, not 15. That's where I kept getting 15 is they must have had a 15 year contract in there somewhere because they keep interspersing 15 in there sometimes. Uh, how to become a VIP member by 100 Terra hash and one year mining contract or a three year contract or a 15 year contract. So the lifetimes don't count towards becoming a VIP member. You actually have to buy it in a one, three, one month, three month or um, five year contract. I don't know if that's cumulative. So I don't know if that hash rate has to be matched constant or you have purchased up to. They're a little unclear on that. Uh, VIP support member, 500 Terra hash. Actually, that's 5,000 Terra hash. Yeah, that's right, 5,000 Terra hash. <clears throat> and I don't see the benefit of that because the only benefit you get on top of it is you get your emails answered quicker. So if you're gonna get it, get it. If not, don't. So back to here, if we wanna go with a three month contract, 100 Terra Ash is going to, well, basically maxes it out. Uh, get you about $90 a day. Uh, it's going to cost you quite a bit. I don't have that off the top of my head, but it's probably 20 grand. No, it's probably not that much. I was looking at the unit price. Sorry. Um, it's almost a Bitcoin, so it's probably close to about 5,000 to max it out. But $5,000 paying in gets you a good bit out a day. So that works. And that's over pays out over three months, so interesting. And as you can see with my 90 giga hash, I have not amassed a vast fortune, but honestly, I don't expect to because that is not that much hash rate. Um, my GPU pulls more than that, I think. So actually it doesn't. That is still pretty significant. So that is Crypto Mining Farm. And what are the pros and cons of this? Well, the pros are it's very transparent. You get to see <clears throat> a lot about what's going on. They've been around for a very long time. They actually have a fairly good reputation. They give you free 50 giga hash that you can play with. So if uh, you're one of those people who just wants to uh, <clears throat> get into it and you're not sure you don't want any commitment you can actually run that 50 giga hash up until it gets something and then drop 20 on it to withdraw the money although that 50 is going to take quite some time to ramp up to something you could withdraw it's still mining so this is another one where you uh you could say that you are mining and um There anything interesting in the about us they're in Thailand that's about it terms make sure you read the terms and conditions in anything that you sign up for because 
Not understanding your terms and conditions is one of the easiest ways to get frustrated in cryptocurrency, as a lot of people who just got burned by Hashflare would understand. <clears throat> a lot of people on the Facebook page, when Hashflare terminated the SHA contracts, did not realize that if they did not get payouts for 21 days, their contracts were going to be terminated. So a lot of them were blindsided, and a lot of people were blindsided because they had a sale right before they dumped everything, which is um, kind of shady, I think. Either they had the ultimate amount of confidence that Bitcoin was going to recover, or they were just doing a cash grab. So I'll leave you to make your own mind up about that, and there's no reason to talk about hash flare in this video. I will put a link to Crypto Mining Farm down in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, I will also put my affiliate link down there. Again, if you watched any of my previous videos, I don't really care if you use my affiliate link or not. Sure, if you're planning on buying something, it does help me out. But I'm not greedy, and I don't care one way or the other. But if you want to help, if you are going to buy something or not, I mean, if you just want to check out the site and you want to check it out through my affiliate link and get your 50 free giga hash, that would be awesome because... Like I said, it does help me out if you do end up buying something. And who's going to turn that down? But conversely, I'm not out to do this to convince you to do anything. I'm just offer, showing you what I do and offering you some insight into the crypto mining presence that I have in web mining. Now, starting tomorrow... We've got some other things that we're going to talk about and some other things we're going to learn. So those should be interesting to people who are not as familiar with the different avenues of how to generate cryptocurrency. And one, a couple of those ways are actually fairly guaranteed ways to make money. <clears throat> so those might be worth checking out. Anyway, that's it for the crypto mining farm video. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link to Crypto Mining Farm. I'll put my affiliate link down below. Use either one you want. Definitely go check them out. Pick up your 50 free giga hash and enjoy having that given to you. No charge. And uh, I'd like to hear your experience with it. But like I said, most of the people that I've seen talking about Crypto Mining Farm have positive things to say about them. And with the last three plus years or so they've been in business, they're still around so that's got to count for something anyway um, this one is actually kind of hard to track because it just gives me a balance and it's not really I don't think it gives me statistics so I can't really track how much I'm making a day but we'll stop back and check out our investments later and see how they're doing but I don't really think I'm going to keep a spreadsheet on this one because it's uh, not very effective to do so anyway that's it for crypto mining farm definitely check it out it's another one of those ones that get you free hash power and uh, you can't really pass that up so I'll talk to you guys later and stop back tomorrow and check out the other videos that I'm putting up and I'm trying to do a crypto video every day this week so that you've got something interesting to learn about, to explore cryptocurrencies through my experience. Uh, these web mining things are the, the, the basis of what I do on a lot of it. So what I, I'll tell you what, at the end of the week, I'll summarize my entire strategy on how I work for cryptocurrency. Or maybe next weekend. We'll see how that works out. But uh, I've got some more things i got to talk about. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.